Okay. Here we go. The uh, Scar DDX. It is a, it's a 15 inch sub, dual four ohm. It is wired in parallel. The voice coils are wired in parallel for a two ohm load. And we have it plugged into the wild socket. And right here's the switch. And we've got these, this clamp and this voltmeter connected. And we also have the basic garage watt meter connected. We have uh, everything set. Well, we have uh, the watt meter set to peak. And this is the voltage and current. We have this clamp set to AC max. So it's going to measure the peak current and on AC. And this is the voltmeter. It's going to measure the minimum, uh, the minimum voltage AC. All right. So let's see what this thing does at two ohms on the wall socket. All right, so we have a little bit of a discrepancy here. All right, so on the watt meter, we have 38.8 amperes of current. That's what it read. On this clamp, we have 37.7 amperes of current. On the watt meter, we have 109.4 volts. On this watt, on this uh, voltmeter, we have 112.2 volts. So let's do old school. Let's do old school. 37.7 amps of current times 112.2 volts. That's 4,229.94. So call it 42.30. And that's going to be our apparent power. So the base head garage watt meter is showing 4247 volt amps with a power factor of 0.96. And again, I do not know what the power factor means. So if somebody asks me, well, what's the power factor? I don't know. Ask somebody that knows. Ask Cody DeMore. Uh, ask the guys that, that made this watt meter because I don't know. I know a lot of things because I do a lot of testing. I'm not a genius. I just do a lot of testing and I, I produce results. So with that being said, uh, for doing it old school, we come up with 4,230 watts, right? That, or that's volt amps, right? So the wattage is 4,097. So I'm getting almost 4,100 watts out of this wall socket in, into this sub on a burp. Now we burp these subs in vehicle at about the same amount of power and they'll hold it burp after burp after burp after burp. I really like these SCAR DDX 15s. They are loud and they hold a ton of power for a burp. All right, so, and that was at 2.8 ohm. Right there, 2.8 ohm. That's after impedance rise. That, that was at 60 hertz. So again, let's, let's scroll back through this. 109.4 volts, 38.8 amps. And, this, and that's what we have here on our clamp. It's 37.7 amps of current and 112.2 volts. And... Again, let's bring the calculator back up one last time. Old school style, 4,230 watts or volt amps. Base head garage watt meter, 4,247. That is a pass in my book. All day, every day. $99. Yes, sir. I've seen other tests on uh, YouTube with this, and I don't know what the other guys did or didn't do. Apparently, this is the newest version, and they upgrade. Apparently, they upgraded the the clamp sensor, uh, which I guess made the difference. Maybe they updated the software. I don't know, but I do have two of these. 
I do, I have another one upstairs and I'm gonna do a, another video later on and I'm gonna compare this one with the other one and make sure that they are calibrated with one another to make sure that, you know, if, if I buy one and you buy one, that they're reading about the same. You know, it's not gonna be perfect. I, I, I know that right off, right off the top of my head. Uh, just measuring other devices. They're not gonna be exactly perfect. It, it, and if they are, then, you know, that's probably just dumb luck. But if they're close, you know, just like this here, 4247 and I got uh, 4230. That's that is close enough in my book. This this is a pass. Anybody that says otherwise, you probably need to uh, reconsider your testing methods. Um, I'm not going to go into that. Here it is, here's the results. Um, like I said, I call it a pass. Two tests, eight ohm, and it was really, really, really close. Two ohm, and it's really, really close. It's a pass in my book. Alrighty, that's all for this one.